The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is a fantasy action-adventure game set in an expansive environment. The player controls series protagonist, Link from a third-person perspective in a three-dimensional world. Link primarily fights with a sword and shield, but can also use other weapons such as projectiles, bombs, and magic spells. The control scheme introduced techniques such as context-sensitive actions and a targeting system called Z-Targeting B, which allows the player to have Link focus and latch onto enemies or other objects. When using this technique, the camera follows the target and Link constantly faces it. Projectile attacks are automatically directed at the target and do not require manual aiming. Context-sensitive actions allow multiple tasks to be assigned to one button, simplifying the control scheme. The on-screen display shows what will happen when the button is pushed and changes depending on what the character is doing. For example, the same button that causes Link to push a box if he is standing next to it will have him climb on the box if the analog stick is pushed toward it. Much of the game is spent in battle, but some parts require the use of stealth. Link gains abilities by collecting items and weapons found in dungeons or in the overworld, including several optional side quests and minor objectives. Side quest rewards include new weapons or abilities. In one side quest, Link trades items he cannot use among non-player characters. This trading sequence features 10 items and ends with Link receiving an item he can use, the two-handed Bigron Sword, the strongest sword in the game. In another side quest, Link can acquire a horse. This allows him to travel faster, but attacking while riding is restricted to arrows. Link is given an ocarina near the beginning of the game, which is later replaced by the Ocarina of Time. Throughout the game, Link learns 12 melodies that allow him to solve music-based puzzles and teleport to previously visited locations. The Ocarina of Time is also used to claim the Master Sword in the Temple of Time. When Link takes the sword, he is transported seven years into the future and becomes an adult. Young Link and Adult Link have different abilities. For example, only Adult Link can use the Fairy Bow, and only Young Link can fit through certain small passages. After completing certain tasks, Link can travel freely between the two time periods by replacing and taking the sword. On its release, Ocarina of Time received critical acclaim. It gained perfect review scores from the majority of gaming publications that reviewed it, including Famitsu, Next Generation, Edge, Electronic Gaming Monthly, GameSpot, and I. The review aggregator website's Metacritic and Game Rankings rank the original Nintendo 64 version as the highest and second highest reviewed game of all time, respectively, with average scores of 99-100 from Metacritic and 98% from Game Rankings. The reviews praised multiple aspects of the game, particularly its level design, gameplay mechanics, sound, and cinematics. GameSpot reviewer Jeff Gerstmann wrote that Ocarina of Time is a game that can't be called anything other than flawless, and IGN called it the new benchmark for interactive entertainment that could shape the action RPG genre for years. Editors of game trailers called it a walking patent office due to the number of features it contains that became industry standard.